Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can perform a done postdoc test for the Crosscall Wallace H test. So after you've done a cross with Python and Jupyter Lab Python 3. So after you've done a Crosscall Wallace H test, you might want to know which of the categories is significantly different than which other. So because you perform this after you've done an omnibus test like the Crosscall Wallace H, it's known as a post hoc test. Now the cross callers H test can be done by simply performing so-called the post hoc can be done by performing Men Whitney U tests for each possible pair. So for example, in the example I'm using I have three locations, Demon, Harlem and Rotterdam. So I could do Demon versus Harlem, Demon versus Rotterdam, and Harlem versus Rotterdam. A test that does something fairly similar is the Dunst test, and how that's being done I'll show you with Python. So to load my example, I'll load it as a pandas data frame, so I'll first import pandas. If you've never imported pandas before, you probably first need to install it. And to after I've imported it, I can use read CSV to simply load the data file that I have, and with head I show you the top five records. So just to give you a quick impression of the data. The example will be using the nominal field of location and as an ordinal field the motivational qualities of the teacher. So I'll store those as two separate fields so I don't have to type them in every time. The ordinal field um, has some unique uh, values and they're actually unfortunately text so they were the original labels. So I need to recode them and I'll do that by using a dictionary. I'll make this dictionary going from 1 for fully disagree to 5 fully agree. And after that dictionary I can then use the replace option. So I'm going to replace the original motivation by a new motivational recording. It's actually not replace, it's adding it to the data frame. But where it replaces uh, based on my coding. So then it will actually have all the numbers. Then just to check if that actually worked, I used the values count and now indeed it just shows 1 to 5. The order here is not correct, but we don't need to worry about that. The postdoc test can be done, the done test, um, using the scikit postdoc package. So I'll import that one as well. Again, if you've never installed it before, use pip install to actually install it. And then we can use the postdoc done, where we fill out which data I'm actually using the name of the uh, the ordinal variable or scale if you're using scale variables the grouping variable in this case location and uh, which adjustment you want to make there are quite a few different ones so uh, but I'll, I'll use Bonferroni it's a little bit conservative but okay and that gives me as an output a table with all the possible comparisons so this one here is for example the comparison between Harlem and Demon which of course is the same as the one between Demon and Harlem. So you can actually ignore half of the table. And also the diagonal is where you compare Rotterdam to Rotterdam, for example, and that doesn't really make any sense, so you can ignore that one. If we look here, we can see that these two are below 0.05, which is usually the threshold, so Demon scores significantly different than Harlem and Rotterdam. And if we look for Harlem uh, and Rotterdam comparing those two itself, with each other, then there's no significant difference there. And that's about it. That's how you can perform a postdoc done test for the Crosscall Wallace test using Python. I hope this was helpful.